Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where or when you're watching it. It's me, your friendly neighborhood deacon, Deacon Gene. And uh, it's Monday. We survived the weekend. Hooray for us. And now we're starting that new week, doing whatever it is that we do. And uh, it's going to be an interesting week. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, heading into the Christmas holiday. And uh, pardon me, I'm just adjusting my shirt. Don't worry. Uh, heading into the Christmas holidays, some people have extra days off. You know, their companies decide, well, let's be nice and give them a little extra time off. Why not? Okay, fine. Not necessarily. But anyway, we're getting into the, the downslope right into Christmas. I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So, what are we shaving with today? Well, those of us of a certain age, and I'm not saying anything more than that, remember, or may remember, when our Christmas stockings were stuffed with little things that you normally don't get. Candies, chocolates, but the candy canes, that sort of thing. And one thing I remember, Every year, the, the Lifesaver Company, you remember Lifesavers, the little candies in a roll about that big? They're still out there. They used to put out a book with like, not one, but five different flavors. And it was, it was exciting to get one of those in your stocking. I remember my, my grandfather, he, I, I know he did a lot of the stocking stuffing and that sort of thing when I was growing up. He'd always put one in my in my stocking because he knew I liked them. Well, Monica over at Vanille came out with this. The Life Shavers Sweet Storybook. Looks just like what the Lifesaver box looked like. <coughs> Excuse me, I still can't get rid of this cough. Let me, it's a hard puck candy soap, shave soap. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Five rolls. We got evergreen, peppermint, butter rum, which was one of my favorites. Because that was a flavor, actual flavor of Lifesavers, love of peppermint. Pineapple. And there's something else in here. This one, right here. Which is not a lifesaver flavor at all, but it's a good scent. Monica had a contest going, and I was fortunate. I had enough likes that she went with my suggestions. And this guy right here. Bourbon, Oud, and Rose. Very different. Very different. I haven't made the lather yet. Because I wanted to show you. When, when you take the candy out. Or the, the soap puck out. It looks that just like a lifesaver. It's hard. But you can squish it a little bit. So you can put it in your bowl. Which I'm going to do with my vanilla bowl. Make a... Make a good lather with this, see how it goes. Uh, let me go through what else we're doing. Shaving with today. I got the Vanille Bowl, Bourbon Ode Oud Rose. I got my brush soaking, Vanille brush with the Hercules knot. It didn't come with matching splashes and stuff, so I'm gonna be combining a couple of things here. For my aftershave splash from Hazlitt's Apothecary, Rose. Okay, and then we got Nivea Deep Bourbon Vanilla. Gonna mix it up a little bit. And then as a cologne, I was doing some scent note research. I decided I'd go with Barrett's Heartwood. It's got the oud, it's got the rose, may have a, a little bit of vanilla in it. Who knows? 
I don't remember off the top of my head, it's early in the morning, but this is a great scent. I think it will pair well. So, anyway, taking care of the two of the three S's, I'm gonna make the lather and I'll be right back. Hey, we're back. Got the lather all made. And I tell you, oh man, this is, this is an un, unbelievable scent. Bourbon right off the top, rose kind of hidden, and then the oud just kind of sneaks up and says, Hi there, I'm here. Oh man. It, 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 Monica knocked this out of the park, I tell you. Look at that. Oh man. Nice, sick. Turns out for each one of the little pucks, you know, one shave. That's okay. That's not a bad thing. And what are we shaving with today? What's our hardware? Well, Monica and I were talking the other day, and she got a hold of a, uh, on a giveaway, the uh, Pearl Blaze, and she wasn't very familiar with it. So, Monica, this is for you. The Pearl Blaze. Look at that. I've used this before. And yes, those of you that remember that video, I do have it on correctly. Pearl Blaze. It's got a 0.74 millimeter blade gap, which means it's on the lower spectrum of aggressive for mine. You know, if you're looking at, you know, three quarters, it's right at the three quarter mark. And it's a hundred and, what's that say? 105 grams. It's a heavy razor. You know me, I like heavy razors most of the time. And I've got an Astro Blade in here. And that's what we're using. That's what we're doing today. Before we go any further, speaking of Monica, shout out to Monica, Vanille, great, great live giveaway yesterday on Instagram. Lots of fun. Moved right along. No arguing. Everything was great on that show. And then her co-hosts, the Barbershop Duet, Marcus and Sarah. If you haven't checked out their channel, check it out. They do mostly reviews on soaps and scents and that sort of thing. Check them out. They, they've got some really good content. Re they, they're really entertaining. So, Marcus and Sarah, great job last night. Anyway, taking care of two of the three S's. Let's do the third, shall we? Let's get to the shave. Mm. Nice warm water this morning. Got up this morning, it was 42 degrees here in the middle of nowhere, Texas. A little more water. Because you know, hydration is important. Oh man. There's that rose. There's that little, that bourbon. Mm-hmm. And oud. There we go. All nice and lathered up. Let's go with our blaze. We're shaving now with a blaze by Pearl. It's got a nice feel to it. Like I said, it's not overly. aggressive but you can't feel it you can feel it a lot of pearls 
Razors are designed to be a little aggressive, I believe, in their feel. And that's not a bad thing. Soap-wise, it has a nice feel. It's a nothing that I would not expect from a Vanille soap. Nice and slick. And just for shiggles. That's just water. Nice residual slickness. This feels really good. This is a nice pairing. On my next shave, of, on the next shave of Christmas, the Deacon heated shave. Life shavers. Got to change it up a little bit. There we go. First pass is done. Let's see how we did. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll need the second pass. So have you finished your Christmas shopping yet? I think I'm done. I think we gotta get a couple of things for the kiddos, grandkids. As far as most of the adults, we're going over to my son's for Christmas Day. And the, the adults are all partaking in a, a white elephant type thing. You buy a gift, wrap it, and you draw a number. And that's what you grab. And you can steal. From somebody else and then they go and get something else we used to call it a Yankee swap back in New York hey, it's the same thing it's a lot of fun When I worked for the Diocese of Brooklyn, we did one in the IT department. Most of the time, all the guests were some kind of booze. <laughs> Which was a lot of fun. Because after a long year, we all needed a good drink.
because our IT department, we didn't just deal with the building. Sometimes we had to deal with the parishes on the local level. But it was always fun. Always a good time. The Christmas parties were fun. One of the the admins would always bring in some homemade coquito. It's like an egg, uh, Puerto Rican eggnog. And someone would always bring a little bit more to spike it with. And I'll say no more. All right, second pass is done. Mm. Wow. Just a little, a little bit of cleanup in certain spots. That's all we need. One of the dogs is up. I can hear him. I think it's beside him. Cleo and Athena are still sound asleep. We did get our tree over the weekend. So we've got it actually sitting in a bucket of water outside, letting it get a really good drink before we bring it to the house. Yeah, I know, this is a little more than a cleanup. All right. Cleanup is done. <laughs> or the pass and a half. B.B. S-Town. Good. We are in B.B. S-Town, folks. No nicks. No cuts. No errors. We're good on that. So let's just... Dry the water? Now I'm going to use the alum this morning. That. I didn't do the towel dry. Real quick. We're good. We're done. Face is nice and dry. Here we go. Right in. Okay. Now, for a little concoction. I got a little cup here. So I can mix things up a little bit. Let's shake the rose. Shake, 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 shake. Really interesting how Dean over at Hazlitt's does these bottles with the actual cork. So we'll. Just got a little bit in there, probably a lot of it in there.
Shake, shake, shake. Shake that after shaking. That ought to do it. Give it a little mix. You know what? Let's mix it properly. <laughs> I feel like a mad scientist. A little in the hand. There we go. Oh, oh, that combination is nice. Because I like it. But it feels really good. I may use a little bit more because I had a little bit more in there. <sighs> nice, 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 nice. <clears throat> and let's get a, a shot on the wrist because I'm not wearing the t-shirt at the work even though it's not last week in fall and nobody's going to be there ooh it's a, good, it's a pretty good combination alright and we got the Rose and the bourbon. And of course, Lifesavers, which was the star of the show and the co star of the Pearl Blaze. That's our shave. Damn clean shave. If you remember these, check them out. Vanulay.com, link down below. And uh, yeah. I think Monica's got a few more of these left. Go get one. Nice little stocking stuffer for uh, the wet shaver in your family or for yourself. Hmm. Could it be your own shaver claws? Uh, speaking of down below, there's the, the like and subscribe button. We're at 244. We're so close to the 250. We're even, clo even so close to 300. Spread the word. Share the love. Share the deacon. Anyway, that's our shave for the day. Shaving is not one of the most exhilarating parts of your day. You might be doing something wrong. As always, be good to yourselves and to each other. Have a great day and smooth shaves. We'll see you Wednesday for Italian Shave Wednesday. Ciao for now.